6.23 on the 19th of March. It's a Sunday. And it's 25 degrees. No, I can't remember which time the sunrise was. Uh, <clears throat> thought it was 6.37. Yep. Sunrise was 6.37. So, we have 14 minutes before the sun pops up. And fortunately, since it's 25 degrees, the ground is firmed up. And Flynn won't get covered in mud. You can see there's an unusual truck and trailer over by the barn this morning. The young man from uh, New Hampshire that owns the property across from me is up and he asked if he could park his truck here because we can't get he can't get into his camp driving in. The snow is too deep in there. And he's got a dog, and his dog marked that spot, so Flynn's going to be there a while. Uh, it's supposed to be a warm week, so a lot of snow melt. Just one to turn both gloves on, but I guess I hit the button on the right one. I tried driving in with my gator to help him get his stuff into his camp, but I get stuck 20 feet in there. Come on. Uh, you're starting to see with the snow melt you're starting to see the rocks that tra Travis or his workers pulled up from the road and dumped on the sides of the road that's what I'm uh, afraid of hitting with the uh, snow blower auger Oh, 
a uh, walk in Flynn last night, his last walk. I had my uh, boots on and uh, took Flynn in the north driveway here and I felt something wrong with my left ankle area, something pop or something. And it's hurt a little bit this morning. Walked in there, again about 30 feet. The road was all in mud and I didn't want to get flooded to cover with mud again. And you can see at 25, some of the water. And it just got a layer of ice on top of it, didn't freeze. Come on, come on. You can see I've been up here before with Flynn. Come on, come on, come on. And if I hear those head noise, a little bit closer here. You hear it?
It's not as loud as it usually is. And it's strange because it's 25 degrees out. No. Usually it happened was down around zero. Time check here is probably 635. Let's see. Well, 634. It usually takes 10 minutes, but we lost uh, probably a minute and a half. Let's stop it for look at the mailbox to the tracks to the gator and looking at the truck by the barn. Ah, beautiful morning. getting back to just potholes and with the breakfast yesterday it was really bad well I shouldn't say really bad it was bad it's been worse the strange thing is it was really bad up in Prentice just before the, uh, the dirt road meets the hot top but then again they did not on the road last year, or grade the road. I'm confusing snowmobile terms with road terms. They didn't grade the road over there in Prentice in the fall. So there were already some big potholes up there. Flynn, come on. Bachman Turner Overdrive. I think that was it. Back in the early 70s. I think it was Bachman Turner Overdrive. Come on, buddy, over here. See if there's any credit tracks. Maybe something there. No, that whole burn is gone. Wow. That's because the sun comes right down here and melts everything. You can see. The sun comes right down that thing and melts it. Over there you've got oh, places that are 40 inches. Maybe higher. Absolutely nothing here. Oh, but let's go back in the house. All right, good boy. Huh. 
<sighs> I like how Flynn navigates around the puddles of ice. <clears throat> so yesterday uh, the Snowville Club had a very high turnout, 69 people for breakfast, which for this time of year is very high. Okay. We got some uh, sinkholes starting. Sorry, bud. Telling you to move along, I, I stop looking at all the ground there. Sun. See if one checks out Jenny's house. So Kevin, across the street, across the road, drove up from New Hampshire with his trailer because he's picking up 130, 130 bundles of cedar shakes in uh, Corinth, Maine, which is about 90 minutes southwest of us. And uh, I thought he was picking them up yesterday, but he said he was going to get him to today, but unfortunately he got a call on the way up that the uh, guy is alone is in the hospital, and uh, so he has to extend his stay here by one day. He's hoping to be able to pick him up tomorrow. Come on, buddy, what are you looking at? Then, come. On. Glenn, come on. There's nothing here. Come. <clears throat> and trying to figure out where he was getting them because I was searching the internet before he told me. And there's a place that sells, sends them to you directly. I don't know how much he's getting them for in Corinth. But we're going to drive his truck <coughs> up here and then back. 
Uh, he gets what? I think he gets 12 miles a gallon with that trail if he's lucky. So, he has to be burned. Uh, over 100 miles worth of or gas. Seven miles each one. Well, yeah, 267. And then some because our lower Exeter is. So let's just say 275, so that's 550. 550 at 12 miles a gallon. That's 40 gallons of gas. <coughs> And let's just say three dollars a gallon, that's 120 gallons, 120 dollars. things about winter is the road is usually snow covered and smooth no dust and no bugs now we're getting into mud season and soon we'll have uh, the bugs out and right after that we have to start mowing the grass This morning, the flag is just down there. <clears throat> See if Flynn tries to do a snow angel. Thank you. tree.
Wait. No. Not much to talk about this morning. I think the snow is all gone off the garage, but we still got some snow on the roof of the house. from the wood stove I put out here for the FedEx guy to try and get him out. When it dries out, I'll just use the back up blow and blow, blow it away. <clears throat> I'm certain that that's creosote. From the woods to the chimney. Alright, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching.